Hello and welcome to New Filmmakers Los Angeles in partnership with Movie Maker Magazine. My name is Danny DeLillo and we're here at the South Park Center. I'm here with Leah with her movie, The Auction. Let's take a look at a clip. Tonight, we'll go down in history and you're all here to witness it. Behold, the first ever auction of a real live human heart. Tonight's auction would not have been possible without Mr. and Mrs. Chen, who tragically lost their seven-year-old son in a car accident earlier today. Luckily, the hospital retrieved his heart immediately after the accident, allowing for this auction. Our thoughts and prayers. I'd like to start the bidding at $500,000, and we will continue until the highest bid is reached. Um, Aaliyah, thank you so much for being here and thank you for your film. Thanks for having me. Uh, for those that haven't seen it, tell us a brief synopsis. Um, so the auction, it's set in the very near future um, and it's about a young woman named Nora whose little brother Malik is fighting um, a chronic heart disease. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, it's the story of her in her own way fighting to save her brother's life when she discovers um, the first auction of a human heart. It is such a beautiful film and heartbreaking, you know, t to watch and you almost just hope that society doesn't get to that point where mm -hmm. it's like that. Where did the inspiration come for you in creating this project? Yeah, um, so I worked with an amazing writer named Angela Menorin, um, and she was really inspired by just like the issues of healthcare inequality and families that are struggling to make ends meet and pay their hospital bills. Um, yeah, and so I think the inspiration just came from that concept of there being so much excess in, yeah. in certain groups in our society, and then there's people that are just fighting so hard to get by. Um, and so that divide, and how do we bridge that divide, and, mm. and portraying just a glimpse into a family's life that is struggling with that issue, and, yeah. and just, yeah, displaying the difference between those classes and um, just posing more of a question of how do we bridge this gap. Yeah, I think your film was so intelligent and a reminder of where we could be if we keep going down the same route we're going. Because honestly, it breaks my heart to think that we are literally living in a society where we don't prioritise healthcare. I mean, did you realise kind of like, you know, even just delving into the pre-production of this project, like, my goodness, this is actually where we could go. Yeah, we did a lot of research just about you know, healthcare and um, specifically like the illness that Malik was facing. Yeah. Um, and I mean, I have worked with some Syrian refugee families that have resettled in San Diego. Yeah. And there's great organizations working with them, but um, how often there's like Kickstarters or GoFundMes to pay for medical treatments. Insane. And it just seems like that shouldn't be something that isn't accessible or isn't right. a right to people just because they don't have the money. Um, and yeah, and in this film, I think portraying it in a way that is unfamiliar with like the auction of the heart and it feels like we're not at that point, but I think it's just showing that like for some, there's so much excess that it's like, what's the next thing I can have? Yeah. And even like the value of a human life is commodified yeah. in that way versus those that really need that, yeah. um, not having access to it. No, it's, it was amazing. And speaking of your, your wonderful cast, what an amazing, those siblings were just perfect. Like, how was the casting process for you? Um, it, was a, it was an extensive process just because there are a lot of speaking roles um, yeah. and I wanted to fill out that world. Yeah. Um, but I think it kind of started with, actually worked out pretty well where we were casting all of them at the same time. And Nora, who's played by amazing Monica Molina, she was kind of like someone I found first. And mm -hmm. it was amazing that the people I was liking for Malik and mm -hmm. um, her mom, Reem, fit in with mm -hmm. this look and this family. And yeah, I was just lucky that they really fit together. And, and even your, your, your ensemble, you know, futuristic cast at the auction, it, it all so, it works so well. You took us in, obviously, because this was set in the future, you took us into this world that didn't feel like too far away mm -hmm. from where we are, but it definitely felt like, you know, in the future. 
how do you go about creating that? Like, you know, an undertaking like of cre creating our future world. Was that was that difficult or do you obviously got a good team with you as well? Yeah, um, I, I had a lot of great help from my production designer, Genevieve, um, and we had amazing like costume help. But I think for us, we wanted it to be kind of like the future of the next five minutes feel yeah. where the whole world wouldn't necessarily look different, but it's more so that um, the difference between these groups of people have grown yeah. larger. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, so the people within the auction have even more and right. um, we wanted them to just like display such elegance and um, excess, yeah. but in a way that was very like minimal and modern. Yeah. Um, yeah, because I wanted that space to feel very like cold and clean and contrast to the yeah, family's really world, which like was it. really like warm and soft. What I love as well is that obviously you, you've created this and, and there's a lot of morality to it and, and how we can really take a lot from your film. Was there something specific for you personally that you kind of wanted your audience to take from your film? It's a bit of a sad film, but I think it's also about hope. Um, and I think that the cool and sad thing is that everybody, every character in the story had a choice yeah. to to do something and to make a change. And, um, you know, in, in this narrative, they don't do anything and it's up to, it rests on the family's back to mm -hmm. figure it out. But um, just pointing to the fact that if one of those people had cared and um, shown compassion towards Nora, mm -hmm. there could have been a mm -hmm. different ending. Um, so it, it's not a sad story because in reality they all do have the power yeah. to make a difference. You yeah. Know? Yeah, it's been really cool to um yeah, just engage with different people about it and um and I think I like telling stories that provoke a discussion and mm -hmm. um and more ask a question that allows you to explore those things with the people that see it. Yeah. Um and that each person brings something different to their viewing of it and has different thoughts about it. So mm -hmm. I think that's the amazing thing about the festival circuit is getting yeah. to have those conversations. And every audience is different as well. So you get right. different reactions and people feel certain things about certain uh, experiences mm -hmm. by watching your film. Uh, what's next for you? I'm personally working on writing. Um, I'm developing another short um, and working on in the writer's room of a new Amazon series or assisting the writers. I'm not, That's great. I'm not writing yet. But. Oh my, you will be, trust me. <laughs> they need you. Thank you, Aaliyah. Keep bringing more movies to us and thank you for the auction. Thank you. Aaliyah, everybody, thank you.